YouTube, how's it going? I just wanted to do uh, a video for the fun of it, and uh, screwing around with the Skyrim Special Edition modding. They finally created uh, an EMB for it, it's still in beta, but I think it actually looks pretty nice if you use like the high-end version of it. Um, actually, I'm going to do a little bit high on the depth of field, some people may like that, some people don't. You can see as I walk towards stuff that it starts to come into focus, but anything beyond it looks to be about 25, 30 feet, and uh, it gets a little bit blurry. Actually, it gets really blurry. This is, uh, you know, the usual sex pot, hot ass character for the fun of it. I played around and changed all the animations and so forth with uh, the available mods, so she holds the sword differently and she kind of puts it away differently behind her like that, carries it on her back, and does some different stuff. Got my own horse so far. I haven't been playing it for very long. I don't have that much stuff yet, or I'm not that far into the game, but I usually don't uh, anymore. I've played through Skyrim so many times, it's like I just goof around with it for the fun of it and play with the mods and don't really work too hard on uh, any, you know, like completing the story or anything. But I just wanted to kind of show what the, uh, the game is already looking like with the few mods they have out. They don't have anywhere near the selection that. Uh, the original Skyrim did, but there's pretty much 4K textures for the majority of the game. Um, for those of you who have modded it, more this will make this will make sense to some of you. And for those of you who haven't, uh, you can ask questions in the comment section. But there's like all these different body replacement mods. I'm using a UNP seven base and like a 4K skin texture, and like all the armor has been replaced in the game. With well, I shouldn't say all of it, but there's a there's replacement options for everything, for uh, female characters, of course. And I think I've got all 4K trees, and then there's like a tree randomizer that makes them different sizes, so a lot of them are taller than they normally would be, which is kind of cool. Uh, I'm using a Vivid Weathers mod, so there's a lot of, you can see the snowflakes are coming down, whereas normally uh, you wouldn't necessarily get that kind of weather realism. But uh, I'm using... I think the name of the EMB preset I'm using is called EMB Reengaged, and uh, there again, it's, there's only a few presets out right now. This is a, a beta launch. I think it's version 0 .310 from the uh, the EMB website, and then you get the presets on the, uh, the Skyrim Nexus for uh, special edition Nexus, I guess. But uh, yeah, the fact that my sword looks like it's digging into my horse's back, poor thing. I think the game looks pretty nice. I've got like a, a grass replacement mod, water replacement mod. Uh, even my follower, they have a, a mod that replaces a lot of the lead female characters in the game, like the female bounty hunters, and anybody who can uh, join your team. Like uh, Lydia can join you. She looks different now. This is um, Janassa, I believe is her name. She's a dark elf, and uh, she looks different than she normally would. I just gave her some cheap Imperial gear, so she uh, has a little more protection. One thing, uh, I don't know if you can see my frame rate on the EMB screen or not, but it's like hovering around 44. There seems to be something weird about uh, Skyrim Special Edition, like you can't go above a certain frame rate with certain settings in it. I had to shut God Rays off, because the game was running at like, um, like 30 frames a second all the time when I'd be outside. When I had to go indoors, uh, the frame rate would jump up to like 54, but it was like a, a artificially imposed frame rate cap that was keeping the game from running any better than that. Uh, and like say, shutting off God Rays, now the game will run upward up to 46 frames a second outside, and inside it'll again sit around 60. Uh, it's kind of a strange issue. I don't know what the deal is with it. I think that this is probably a little bit too much depth of field. But uh, I, l I like high depth of the field, it's just a personal preference. I think it, uh, it's almost like your character has poor vision. But uh, like I said, I kind of think it adds a certain amount of camera focus that I enjoy. Let's see if I can get into some combat here or something. I'm playing with God Mode on. When I, when I make these videos, I just turn on God Mode so I don't have to worry about dying. Or, like, especially when I have the... Uh, when I have um, 
how it turned off, like the, the, the HUD turned off so I can still see, I can't see what I'm doing, you know, I can't aim or whatever, what the crap. Start the game off at. Let me see if I can find uh, a little combat here. I'll be right back. One second. All right, this mine is supposed to have Draugr in it, so we'll, uh, I can already hear him. There he is. Now the corny thing is, is that animation you see, like she just put her one-handed sword on her back, but it's really on her, on her hip. So it's kind of hard to uh, get the right animation for everything. Just kind of randomly flinging things around in these games. I wonder how many poor souls have lost their lives working these tunnels. It looks like I had you can see I've got like a sky replacement mod going There's still on. There's plenty of ore left in that mine. Oh. The waste. And the, uh, the cloud cover and everything moves semi-realistically. You call yourself a wizard? I challenge you to a duel. A wizard? I don't believe I said that, sir. The gods will be the judge of that. Uh, like I said, this level of depth of field may or may not be everybody's cup of tea. But uh, and then I have this yes. mod here that makes all the uh, torches and candles in the game give off smoke, which mm -hmm. I think looks kind of cool. It's a little bit much, perhaps, like maybe a little up at the top, but it looks kind of cool. Adds a little bit more realism. But anywho, uh, appreciate people watching as usual. If there's any questions about what mods I'm using, uh, I can try to try to uh, write up a list. I have uh, the Skyrim. Or, uh, sorry, the Nexus Mod Manager, and I could just take a screenshot, I guess, and post the link to that if anybody is interested in, uh, in like I say, the mods that I'm using. It's really not that many to make the game look like this. It, I think I have about maybe 25, 30 mods running. Uh, mostly, though, it's the ENB that really cranks up the depth of field and uh, adds shaders and so forth that makes the game look a little bit better. And then uh, replacing the characters with, uh, you know, giving them 4K body textures and so forth makes the characters look a lot better. But once again, this is Drizzle as usual. I appreciate everybody watching the channel. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. Maybe click the like or subscribe button if you like the content. And I appreciate everybody watching. Have a great one. Bye.